you're so sad. Oh, I'm not sure. <laughs> Sorry, you got me um, I'm. Just let me. I mean, think about it. If I was off being emperor in the far reaches of the Sierra, taking over every small little network and get hold of to increase this galactic empire, <laughs> mother's uploading me to the kind of party that she wouldn't dream about. So she's never around that. In this year, she's not going to say to talk about and all my brothers are off learning to be emperors in their turn, learning all the programming languages, learning how to look after everything, fixing bugs, whatever boys are allowed to do. Not and it's not as if I can talk to anybody else. Blood Royal, you're not allowed to speak to Connie, boy. I don't know where I'm allowed to speak to you. Thanks a lot. So. I. Some people have been talking about the equality that will come with the revolution. My dear, I have served your family for almost 70 years, and I ask you to take the advice of an old man. Come away from the window. Your family has done many terrible things, yes, but I hear those revolutionaries, and I'm afraid. They speak of equality and freedom in such high-minded terms. But in them I can see the eyes of the wolf. Freedom that comes through violence can only ever cause suffering. So I implore you, come away from the window. Accept the destiny of your blood and resolve to be a better leader than your ancestors. Look, you come to tutor, which you can help. Your butterfly and a glass. 